Hi there, you catch me as my wet hair is still drying. However, I have time to tell you about the following, which is Ladino, Jewish Spanish, Judeo Espanol, Hacketia in North Africa, you name it. This language spoken by people of Jewish descent in various countries in, say, the Balkans, the Middle East, and North Africa, historically, right? Um, descendants from the expulsion from Spain in 1492, when Columbus sailed the ocean blue, as they say, these people are often said to speak living old Spanish, living medieval Castilian, whatever you want to say, and that's not true. So all languages change all the time, and in a sense, linguistically speaking, you can never set foot in the same river twice. Now, where does it get interesting? Can we say that certain varieties, linguistically speaking, are conservative with a small c? They conserve features that maybe other varieties innovate on, that those things then change. Why, yes. Okay, so in Latin, hmm, the c was hard, like a cuh sound in sort of early imperial and especially um, republican times, right? So, kikero for Cicero, things like this, right? In Sardinian, there are hard Cs, like in classical Latin. This is a conservative feature. So too, in Judeo-Spanish, do you get a myriad of features which are conservative, including how the jota, or J, jota, is pronounced as a j, which was the case in medieval Castilian. However, many other things have changed because of internal evolution, right? Languages change on their own for various reasons. However, yes, the obvious elephant in the room is that, yes, any language variety which is spoken at the confluence of other languages will change in accordance with those languages as well, based on various features. So, yes, uh, being a Jewish form of Spanish, there are Hebrew influences on what we now call Ladino, as to have there been from the surrounding languages, such as in Istanbul, um, Ladino and um, other Turkish varieties, say in Izmir, etc., you get Turkish influences in the pronunciation, in the use of certain grammatical forms even, etc. Um, and maybe more so from Arabic and later French as well, actually French in both cases, but also French in North Africa, which was a colonial language, but also Arabic, um, the Arabic varieties spoken in the Maghreb, such as in Morocco, right? These also had an effect on what we now call Judeo-Spanish.